EMP oi I'm dynamite so we're doing an EMP haul um EMP recently we do bundles of pops for yeah three pops for a tenner which is very random and then I checked earlier not the ones I bought but some different bundles that are still listed on EMP for the prices and about three pound five pound pops that's probably why to be honest they normally try and sell them for 12 quid and they probably weren't selling so they were like let's bundle them up and shift them for about £10. Some are going for 10 some are going for 13 I think, and then some are going for 23 99 There's only one set, like 23 99 or something. Might even be £27. I think it's £27. And they're the Mini Mouse ones, but all the others there, like WWF, WWE, because I think they got sued. Pardon me. For WWF, didn't they? Um, the World Wide. Federation Protection of Animals, I don't know, but hey, uh, yeah, anyway, the bundles aren't particularly great, I'll have a look in a sec on the pop directory, but these, I got one, and I only wanted one, um, and I got it as part of my pop in a box, and because I got one, and then these were only three for a tenner, I thought, for the sake of what, £3.33, P recurring each, I've got to pull the trigger, so I did. Um, I'm a bit miffed because I could have got the other one because they've done them in two sets of three and there's six of them. And I could have got the other one that I got from Pop in a Box in part of my subscription for £3.33 recurring as well. And then got two others for less than the price I paid for the one from Pop in a Box. But hey, we'll get on to that because I've not done that video yet. Um, and you're probably just confused now because I'm just rambling. So let's do it anyway. So these are. Kind of like this, Squid Game. I figure, I'm pretty sure they're in for a Series 2. Come on, focus. Pretty sure they're in for a Series 2 at some point. Um, I read it somewhere. I don't think it was a uh, priority of the writer, but I think there's talk about it, so. You never know, they may, they may be cheap now, but they may go up when Series 2 comes out and people get all excited about Squid Games again. They could well retain their value and then go up some. But anyway. So, I always wanted a soldier. Uh, it wasn't one that I had on my pop in a box, it was a different one. But I always wanted one of the soldiers regardless. And here we go. So, Squid Game Soldier. Circular Masked Worker is what they call it, rather than a soldier. In fact, you can see the six on the back. So they're the six commons. You can get all three different soldiers. So you can get the square, the triangle as well. But they're commons. I thought the square was quite common as well. I think the triangle isn't. I don't know. But anyway, you catch a drift. So I now have this one. Um, yeah, box is in good condition. As you saw, it came bubble wrapped. Uh, three in their size for a box like this. All bubble wrapped singularly. Lee, lee. Make sure my dress ain't on there. Mm, kind of is. We'll see. I might cut it out. Um, yeah. Get him out. So, the mass worker it looks quite a lot like this. Very cool. I think the difference is obviously, other than the detail on the mask, is I think one's holding a gun like down and one's holding the gun across and out or something. But that's the difference between the workers. The next one is player. Four, five, six. Seong Jihun. Seong Jihun. Please tell me you didn't watch it dubbed with American actors because it was awful. I started watching it. I was watching it dubbed and I was like, this is painful. So I had to go to um, subtitles because I've been told as well that even subtitles, their story is quite a lot different from the actual original because of how it's translated, you lose a bit of nuance. The uh, dubbed version was just dire. Anyway, so again, good box condition. Let's get him out. See, I wasn't planning on collecting all these, like I say, because I just got a bit boring standing around in tracksuits. I wanted the one girl and one of the soldiers, and then obviously uh, the big doll, which if you watched my last video, you already seen. I'll get her in a sec to show you. Um, but yeah. Now I've got them in hand, I kind of like them. 
whether I keep them all, I don't know. I might just keep the three as mentioned. Let's get this one out. So hopefully you can see him, he's focusing. You can see in his hand here, he has, I can't remember what you call it, but it's the little dish where he's got to try and carve out a shape and he's got his umbrella that he has to carve out without breaking it or get shot. Spoilers, by the way, if you're not seeing Squid Games. What did they call it? Honeycomb. I think it's called Honeycomb, wasn't it? You have to carve it out of Honeycomb. So, yeah, I kind of like it now. They, they look basic, but when you have it in hand and you're a pop collector, you're kind of like, I want to keep it anyway. Why not? The life of a collector. Um, standard thing with EMP. It's nice that you chose an EMP product. If you can't find a UK responsible person on the products, please don't hesitate to contact. Yeah, so EMP are a German company. Their English is a bit rough sometimes, but bless them, they try. Um, and of course, the creator, the old man, number one. Oh, your name. Again, if you've not seen it, yeah. This guy has a uh, big hand in the reason the games exist. Ba -ba -ba. Here he is in box. Again, the box condition is decent as you'd expect given the way they've wrapped them all. I quite like the pinks on this because they're quite a, they're kind of subdued, the pinks. So it almost looks like it's... um. You know, and you see some bleach pops, they've been in the window too long and they're faded. It's that kind of baby pink. But yeah, it's cool. Let's get him out. So this one. It's quite a boring pose, but if you've seen it, I think it's supposed to be his like menacing, happy, smiley face when he's doing the, uh, the doll, funny enough, the red light, green light is that kind of half kind of stepping kind of just enjoying it too much when he shouldn't be because his life's under threat kind of vibe but yeah so one two three three for a tenner i just noticed something by the way on the old man See if I can get it to focus on him and not me. Look at a little ball patch. <laughs> Baby left, sorry, it's funny. I'm trying to focus on my toes or not. No. But yeah, that's an attention to detail. I wasn't expecting on a Funko Pop to be honest, but that's quite funny. In con uh, comparison to the doll, we've got obviously a six inch versus a four inch pop. As a really bad interpretation. So yeah, that'd be it really. So three for a tenner, it's not bad. Um, yeah, I did say I'll have a look, didn't I? So let's go, let's go, let's go. Email messages, go away. The pop directory. Let's have a look at the Squid Games. See what prices stuff are going in at. Squid. Games. I imagine as it was a bundle, it'll be about three to five pound. Why are you not Squid Game? Is it opposed to games? Yeah. Okay, so interestingly, they are retaining a reasonable value around about a. Shall I boost that a bit more to contra uh, exposure on my phone? Oops, go away. So they are retaining. Oh no, is that too much? Somewhere in the middle. Again, take three. They are retaining between a nine and like 13 pound mark in terms of value. I'm still not sure if that's slightly overexposed. The worst comes to the worst. I could always take a screen grab and put it up. Um, yeah, so the old man's 11. 
the guy with his honeycomb is 12, and the circular masked soldier, what do they call it, masked worker, is only nine pound. But considering I paid tenner for all three, and I have EMP, uh, like a VRP EMP, so I pay like a tenner a year and I get free postage. Yeah, literally tenner flat, and I got 30 quid's worth of pop, so you know, not bad going. Happy days, can't complain of that. A bargain. Still kind of good that I could have got. Kong Se Biak is uh, the one that I got from Poppin' Box. Spoiler alert, because I haven't done that video yet. And she's currently £12, and I paid. Well, it's Poppin' Box, so with postage, I paid about £11.50. It should have been a tenner. But anyway, so yeah. Let's wrap up this video and let's probably do that pop in a box video now because I need to rattle them off pretty quick sharp. Obviously our doll friend here, because she's a, uh, a Comic-Con release, she has not got a price yet, but she was £22 new if you hadn't seen my previous video. £22 new for a six inch con release, I thought it was not bad. People are already trying to sell her for like 35 quid, which is crazy. Crazy. So I've got this at 50, madness. I can show you the receipt, show you evidence of the price. I just need to cover my address. So there we go. This is going to focus, but ten pound bundle of three. Perfecto. 